She'll take the number two job at the Treasury. Sarah Bloom Raskin's confirmation hearing for the new appointment is today. Zach, who is she? Tell us about her. She's a little bit different than most of Obama's top economic appointments. Why and, and what can we expect? Right. Most of Obama's top economic appointments have come from the Clinton administration. They've, they've been sort of cast in this neoliberal economic mold where they're not so psyched about regulation. They care more about economic growth than about reigning in, you know, corporate excess, uh, but are not totally ideologically opposed to the role of regulation whatsoever. Uh, Sarah Bloom Raskin doesn't really come from that, that sort of corporate-centered world. Uh, she's actually built her, her career as a regulator. She was uh, a very prominent regular, later regulator at the state of Maryland, uh, where she did quite a bit in, in around 2006, 2007 uh, to deal with the foreclosure method there. Uh, really simple stuff like requiring proper documentation from banks before they could foreclose on homes. Uh, and, and actually that, that work, while it's really simple and straightforward, the fact that she was aggressive about it, I think uh, was, many people believe, was, was one of the reasons why Maryland actually weathered uh, the foreclosure crisis a little better than some other states, even though they had, you know, particularly around Baltimore, there were a lot of, of loans going bad. Uh, so she, she has a good, rec good track record there. And she's been on the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors for since 2010. She was appointed there by President Obama at the same time Obama appointed Janet Yellen. Uh, and she's, she's generally been a voice in favor of stronger regulation. The Fed has not been an institution uh, in the last few years that has really been doing re really brave and, uh, and, and confrontational things uh, in, in regulation, but she's been someone who has stood up to big banks uh, and, and who has built, uh, I think, built alliances with, with smaller banks uh, you know, that were not really affiliated with the, the, the gross successes of the crisis, uh, really tried to make politically smart decisions about reigning in big banks. So the fact that she's going to Treasury uh, seems, seems like a good sign for people who are, uh, you know, who, who are interested in this type of activity. We haven't seen a lot of people like that at the Treasury Department.